Welcome back to my channel, Nikki the Creator. I am your favorite manifestation coach, making manifestation super simple for you guys. Before we get into it, as you guys know, I am doing a self-concept challenge, a you are the prize self-concept challenge in my VIP group. I chose that is how I'm going to announce my VIP group. And it's right here on YouTube, only for $4.99 a month. And if you decide after the challenge you want to leave, then you can leave. But the challenge is going to be super fun. I'll be dropping affirmations. I'll be explaining the importance of self-concept. Concept. And in my VIP group in general, you'll be able to go live and answer questions one on one. I'll be doing coaching in the VIP group. So imagine instead of paying for coaching, you can just come into the VIP group monthly and ask your questions and I'll answer. There'll be giveaways. There will be mini courses, giveaways. There will be discounts on my larger courses. Whatever it is, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be lit in there. I already have some people signing up. Regardless of people sign up, we're going to still do the self-concept challenge in there so that we can change our identity to be the person that we've always desired to be. Now, without further ado, let's dive into today's topic. So today's topic, it's, we're going to talk a little bit about the only key to manifesting because it's really simple. And I always tell you guys it's simple. And yes, it has to do with repetition, but I really, really want to drive this point home. So... The statement that it happens within and then it is reflected out sometimes get lost in translation when we see something that we may not like in the 3D, which is our physical world. And sometimes when you get caught up in that physical world, you receive that knowledge and say that that is the end all be all. Or you receive that and take that as your sign that you may not be getting what you want or whatever the case may be. First of all, I want to remind you of how powerful you are as a creator. You literally can change your life simply by a shift of mindset, simply by the story that you're telling about yourself and the story you're telling about yourself in relation to your desires. What am I saying? You can have anything you want simply by saturating your mind with the story that you prefer. Now, there's only one key to manifesting and that one key to manifesting is deciding your story and sticking to it no matter what, no matter what you see in the 3D. So let's say that you are deciding that you want to identify as someone who is wealthy and I use that often, but we can use love as an example. You want to identify as someone that is in a relationship. I always tell you guys, all you have to do is think like you're that person. And how do you think like you're that person? You fill your mind with the thoughts of being that person. Affirmations. And everybody has certain techniques that work for them, like scripting, visualization, um, meditation. Everybody has what works for them. The point is to do it enough till your mind is saturated with the fact that you are that person or you have it. Right. And so what happens is um, and that's it, guys, that's really it. Think as if. And I sometimes find that I am repeating myself in videos, but that's OK, because I want you guys to get it. So it's like, all right, you're, you're manifesting this wealth and all of a sudden you're manifesting wealth. And all of a sudden, two bills come out of nowhere. You may get a ticket. You may get that you owe something that you didn't know that you owe. And instead of looking at those two things has a oh, it's clearly not working for me. That's where you tend to mess up and waver if that is your response. You know, oh, it's not it's not working for me. Clearly, these are not the right affirmations. Let me go find a different technique. Let me go find a different affirmation. And I'm here to tell you that is not the case, right? That is not the case. You have to see the 3D has all thoughts playing out. If you don't want to see the 3D has all thoughts being played out, you have to see yourself as so powerful that those circumstances cannot affect the vision that you have now, right? And so, all right, you have two bills that come out of nowhere, but you're manifesting that you're wealthy. How do you handle something like that? You simply st st reflect and say, okay, what story am I creating here? I'm creating the story that I am wealthy. Okay, so if I'm wealthy and I have the money, will paying these bills be a problem for me no okay so i have to stick and double down on my story oh i am wealthy money comes to me easily and effortlessly money is so easy for me to manifest i double down on that because that's the story that i'm choosing and i'm sticking with it 
no matter what. And what's going to happen is it may manifest differently for everybody, but what's going to happen is either the money's going to come out of nowhere. You might get a call that the bill was incorrect. You might get an extra bonus at work. So you might your business might take off and you get the money for it. You don't know, but however it plays out, it's it's going to play out in a way with the story that you're choosing. All right, guys, you cannot let the 3D deter you from the story that you are choosing to identify has. It's it's a choice, guys. And that's why I say it's only one key to manifesting. You choose a story and you repeat it on until it is what's being reflected to you. Is that going to always happen where the bills pop up? No, it's not. That could just be simply a glitch. It can simply be your old story just popping up and being pushed out and just that's it. That's an old story, like an old movie scene. That was probably the beginning of the movie. You move it on to the end of the movie, you know? So you have to really double down and stop making it complicated for yourself. When you see something like that in your life and you choose, oh, I got to change my routine. I got to change my affirmation. I have to choose my techniques. What you're doing is you're giving away your power and saying, okay, maybe what I was doing is not right. You're always doing it right. And you have to start telling yourself that. Start saying, I'm a master manifester. I manifest with ease. I manifest what I want quickly. I always get what I want quickly. You know, start telling yourself these things so that you can begin to understand, wait, I am doing it right. Whether I'm visualizing, whether I'm affirming, whether I'm scripting, whether I'm meditating, whether I'm EFT tapping, you have to tell yourself you're doing it right because you are. The moment it does not work is when you say that it does not work. The moment it does not work is when you say it does not work. And even when you say it does not work, it's still working because you're going to get what you want of not it not working. Are you guys following? So you either go down the path of it doesn't work for you or you go down the path that this works for me. All right. And I would choose the latter of going down the path of it works for me. And that's the only key to manifesting, guys. Choose your story and repeat it and stand 10 toes down on that story. Neville Goddard said a quote, and I'm going to... um say it to you guys and i'm gonna place it here and it's gonna be a boost for you guys all right not just for your self-concept but just to remind you guys that you always get what you want and i'm gonna place it here and this is how i'm gonna end the video guys and i you know hope you get something from me. truth depends on the intensity of your imagination not upon external facts An assumption, even if false, once persisted on, it becomes fact. I want you guys to really think about these quotes and really dive into what I'm saying and how easy manifestation is. You are creating your story. You have the power.